lot of good teams in the NFC. Really not a huge gap, but if there's five that stand out, I mean, we're going to start with the Detroit Lions. They gave the Chiefs all they could handle. All they could handle. It took a, it took all of Patrick Mahomes to beat them in that one. That defense was fantastic. People love to talk shit about Patricia. I think he's fine. I think he's going to be great. I love how they are just going all out for that D-line. First round picks and then adding snacks, adding Mike Daniels, adding Trey Flowers. They are adding players. And there's really, honestly, no huge holes on this team. They're just, they're sound everywhere. Only problem is there are a lot of good teams in that division. At number four, I, I don't love the Saints. You know, I really don't love them, but they've impressed me. If you can do that with Teddy Bridgewater, holy fuck, you better be able to do some special shit with Drew Brees, and I believe it's coming. The only problem is they are not getting a bye, because... <laughs> Without Breeze, you're not you're not getting that by. I'm sorry, but another thing, I mean, without the Superdome, they are so useless, so useless. If if they unless they get the one seed, they're not winning the Super Bowl. They need home field advantage. They have the best home field advantage in all of sports, really. They need it, but if they have it, oh my God, they are dangerous. And number three. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Jared Goff, but the Rams are at three. Listen, I was, I mean, I still am, but I i was a huge Goff fan. Always defended him. But, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? They are just blitzing every play, and he cannot handle it. You should be able to fucking handle it because every other quarterback in the league knows what to do when they're blitzed. The team is just... I mean, they're, they're still too good of a team to not have on this list. They're still 3-1, and one, so they're obviously a fucking top team in the NFC, but they got to really sort some shit out, and I think they will. But, man, they need to sort that shit out. And at number 2-1, and one, this one's going to have to wait a week to really know who is where, but I think these are the two really the best teams in the NFC, and I don't think it's close. I think, first of all, if you're going to tell me that Packers defense was exposed, first of all, it's Thursday night football, so it's automatically bullshit because Thursday night football is brutal, sloppy, filled with flags, always always no defense or a shit ton of defense. It's never a normal game on Thursday night football. And also, they had three short fields in a row. They had that punt or that kick return to the 30. They had that horrible punt. And then they had the Rodgers fumble. So when you look at it, Carson Wentz only threw for 160 yards. So the you can't tell me this defense got exposed. It did not get exposed. They got fucked over. That's what happened. I still think they're a good defense. I don't think they're the best defense in the league. I don't think they're a top five defense, but they're good enough. For Aaron Rodgers to get a bye. Right? And and moving on to the Cowboys. Oh my god. I, f- I fucking love the Cowboys this year. Tell me where they aren't elite. Safety? That's it. That's the, that's the only position they are not elite. Wide receiver. You got an elite guy there. And you got some other. <laughs> Randall Cobb was a huge addition. And Michael Gallup is looking good. Offensive line, A+. Plus. Running back, A+. Plus. Quarterback, A. Defensive line, A+. Plus. Corner, B+. Plus. Linebackers, best in the league by a mile. This team is... You can talk shit about Jerry Jones all you want. This man knows how to build a fucking team. And has he ever. This man. The Cowboys went 13-3, and and what did they do? They ran the ball controlled the clock, and they didn't even have a good defense. They had a fucking awful defense. They have a... This is that team. But better offensively and defensively. Dak is better. Oh, the O-line might even be better. They they are just that good. 
And we'll just have to wait and see who's number one.